Okay, so this is the bike I'll be bringing to Ireland. I've got a um, five-day trip there uh, commencing on Thursday, so quite minimal. Um, but it's we're going to be basically staying in some B&Bs. So yeah, not, don't need any camping gear or anything like that. So just going to walk you through it. If that's of interest. So I guess first of all, the bike is. Steel, solid as a rock, served me very well. Still the same uh, name set. Um, yeah, very, very reliable. So, yeah, let me see. Let's start up the cockpit. So, up here, I've got this little GoPro guy here on this mount, which I found on Amazon, I think it was. Very, very reliable. I've tried quite a few of these. Um, the last one nearly just about broke off and I cut the GoPro as I was going downhill um, somewhere southeast, southeast uh, England. So yeah, that was fun. Um, just about caught it time. So yeah, that was a cheap amount on Amazon. But this is for a motorcycle mount and I've kind of bodged it to work on these bars here. And it's been solid as a rock. I brought, it to, brought this bike to um, Venice to Dunkirk last year and uh, it's yeah still holding on no problem. Then we've got the quad lock um, mount here. If I need to pop the uh, the phone on uh, to do a bit of navigating and stuff like that. Um, using quad lock since 2016 and would never go anywhere else. This is the best uh, kit you can get for your phone. Then we've got the Garmin, new edition. Um, I just don't want my phone on this because I got the up, uh, updated iPhone 14 uh, Pro Max. So it's a bit heavy and I, if it falls, I mean, it'll probably be fine in the quad lock case, but I'd rather have something up here a bit more resilient and made for the, made for the job. So the phone will be in the pocket and we'll be using this for navigation. And um, got a little feed bag here, with some food already in it, ready to go. Um, and in here, I also have something very important, which is this guy here. So when I'm out and about and I need to have my own little spork, it's right there, readily accessible. Then we've got the top tube bag, which uh, includes my earbuds, uh, keys, and a power bank, and any little, little cable, any little bits and pieces I need, like that. Um, then we've got the frame bag, which is from Top Peak. This has been amazing as well. Fairly cheap for what it is. Apidura cost upwards of 100 pounds, I think. And they are they are amazing, good, good, good brand. But uh, I didn't want to spend that much on this. So um, I got this two years ago, I think it was. It's been fine up until uh, a month or two ago when I had a little visit from a squirrel. Um, I still had nuts left over or chocolate left over from my previous tour in here and they found it. <laughs> they will eat through anything. So I got it patched up and it's, it's all working fine. Um, so what am I carrying in here? So food, I'm kind of more or less just testing this, how much food I can get in here, which is quite a lot, I think. Um, we've got a um, poncho case for the quad lock. Um, what else have we got? Some, I should have known what I packed here now. It's very windy today. Hopefully uh, you can hear me. Um, kosher repair kit stuff, and basically bike stuff, stuff like that. Then we've got our pump, little pressure gauge as well. It's quite powerful, Velo Champion. Then we've got passports and any other little important items. Here is my electronics. So it's kind of hard to do this one-handed. We'll get there. So in here, I've basically got um, spare light, uh, some glasses with tints, uh, some cables, um, electronics, blah blah blah, some charger. Just stuff like that, loads of cables for the GoPro, the uh, the bike computer, and the phone. And I've got a spare power bank in here as well, and that's the kind of uh, frame bank. And then the main part 
part is this Ortelieb trunk bag. So this is new to me. Um, I usually bring panniers uh, with the little light at the back here from, I have no idea actually. I can't wait for this. So that fits in quite fine there. So yeah, I usually bring panniers, uh, but this time I'm gonna bring something like this. 10 liter, I think it is, uh, 14 maybe. I can't remember exactly. But um, yeah, it's it has this system where it, it kind of hooks onto your, your rack. I don't know if you can see that. And it's, it's a new kind of system to me, and it doesn't feel very secure, but you just have to wait for the click and there it is there. So it should be fine. I've done a test ride on it down to the shops and so far so good. So anyway, inside here, we've got some more uh, fuel. We've got our little hat and our gloves. And pop them in there. We've got toiletries. Um, a little cafe lock. Then we've got rain jacket, and then what else have we got? A pair of shorts. Um, this is actually the handle, uh, it's the carrying handle to this guy here. So I can hook this in here and then use it as a kind of shoulder bag. And then my clothes, and I think that's about it. So that's what I'm packing for five days. So I've got bib shorts, um, a few pairs of socks and jocks. Pop that there. Uh, a few t-shirts. Um, I think that's basically the goods of it. So it's quite minimal. And it's the most minimal I think I've ever gone. Actually, no, that's a lie. In uh, 2018, I did Ireland. Transatlantic way and I brought less, but still I had camping here with that. This is the most minimal I could have bought brought for um, credit card touring. So yeah, if it's, a, if it's a, uh, interesting to you, give me a like. And uh, yeah, I might, might give you guys an update when I'm back from um, Ireland. So as I say, we're, we're doing this, um, this loop of Northern Ireland, uh, starting off in Newry, and then going to finish in Newry, do a loop around uh, counterclockwise. So yeah, should be fun. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll uh, chat to you guys later.